Hey guys, it's me, Crazy Honda Chris. Let me be one of the first to congratulate you guys on your new Honda Odyssey Touring here. I'm gonna help you guys set up your vehicle settings so when you drive away, you're set for success. Or if you wanna go back and change something again, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that now. So let's get going right now, okay? right inside the Honda Odyssey for you guys. The vehicle's on, you're at your home screen at the moment. Make sure you're in park for safety and you cannot access the vehicle settings if you're not in park. So make sure you're in park place. Now we're gonna go to settings. From settings, we're gonna come down to vehicle. Then we're gonna start from the top and work our way down, all right? So you're gonna have driver's position set up. Smart right here. So we're gonna have your seat position, movement on entry. All right, what I love about this is that with the Odyssey, it's gonna have a description here, so you don't have to keep this stuff memorized. You actually can read this stuff, it walks you through it, it's pretty nice and easy. So simply, you can have this on or off. So let's say if I shot the car now, the seat's gonna move back and allow me to get out a little easier, then also get back in and turn on the car that moves back forward into that same position for us. So yeah, let's keep that on. Now you're gonna have your memory link too as well. So if I have the key fob, right now it's in my pocket, but if I had it in my hand, and I, on the back of you see driver one, driver two. So you can save the position and have that link to your key fob. So when you come with key fob one, get your seat saved up, it links right here and moves from that and each key accordingly, all right? So, yep, it's on. So I'm just gonna select the back button right up here, back again. Now we're gonna have your meter set up. You get your outside temperature. It's gonna be right over here on the bottom left-hand corner, 73 degrees. Perfect. If you want to fine tune that with a five degree swing, either way you can, but I'm going to leave it be. Now you're going to have your trip A and trip B. You can choose when you want this stuff to reset, all right? Perfect. Now you got your reverse tone. So when I put the vehicle into reverse, simply just kind of pulls, you know, put my foot down on the brake, push this button down, your backup camera automatically displays. It gives you a soft tone to let you know, hey, your vehicle is in reverse. Just gives you a little audible, all right? on or off you can adjust your alarm volume right here so this would be like your buzzers your turning indicators you guys can see from right there you can adjust the loudness of this volume on where you want I want to be super loud super quiet me i'm going to turn it up because i'm hard of hearing apparently you have a turn by turn right here we'll keep it on fuel efficiency backlight all right we'll keep this on it's just a visual coaching from there sorry for shaking the camera quite a bit guys um right up here you get this white light all right and this white light turns from white to green when being fuel efficient that's your fuel efficiency backlight and then when you're not being fuel efficient it's going to be white as you see right now so as a visual coach as a visual coach why not let's level up let's learn how to increase my driving habits fuel economy so this is rear seat reminder so when i turn off the vehicle that's gonna have a rear seat reminder is gonna pop up right here. Then also right up there for you to, hey, double check your rear seats. Make sure, you know, precious cargo is not back there, whatever. All right, so now that's everything from there. You get a tailgate, you get your keyless open. So let's see, you got the key fob with you in your pocket. All right, and if you have it on any time, all the doors will lock up. I'll walk back there, I hit the button, it's gonna allow me to open that tailgate only from that point, and I have to worry about hitting unlock too as well. All right, so that's gonna be nice, or you can only access that if the car is unlocked. All right, do you wanna be a power lift gate or not? Simply on or off. You know what, we'll keep it a power tailgate. It's kinda of nice but to do all the heavy lifting for us. Keyless access setup, all right? We're gonna start from the top here, door unlock mode. So there we go. So this is when you have the key fob with you in your purse, your jacket, your pocket. We'll walk up to the door, put your hand in the handle. Do you want a driver's side door or just the tailgate to unlock? Or do you want all doors to unlock from there? All right. Now there's going to be a delay as you put your hand in the handle, stuff like that. Or when the door's locked, unlock. When do you want the lights to flash to tell you it's done? Gives you a little visual confirmation. 
sorry, do you want an Emmy, not win, it's do you want it on or off. Now we also got the beat, the audible beep. So as you hit that beep beep, it beeps out to let you know, hey, get right in or it's locked up from there. You got your remote start for any particular reason. If you guys don't want remote start to be uh, usable on your key fob, you can turn that feature off. It's right there, all right? Walk away auto lock feature. So this is gonna be great. Um, so let's say you get the key fob with you. You walk away with the key fob. You get out, you shut your door, right? Get 10 feet away. You run into your business or whatever you gotta do for errands. And automatically, boom, locks the doors for you, right? If you leave the key fob in here, it won't work though. So you gotta take the key fob with you guys. Don't leave it in the car. Uh, from there. Only bad thing I can think about this is say, for example, I'm out in the garage hiding from the kids, hiding from maybe the in-laws are over, pretending that I'm busy in the garage doing garage stuff, you know, and I want to get in and out of the car quite a bit. Well, I left my keys inside. I had to go back in, get my keys, allow me to get in the car instead of just kind of, you know, sec secretly running in and out. So we can actually enable this so when I walk away from this video, I know it's locked up. I don't have to second guess. Now you're going to have your safety features, driver's assist system set up from right here. You got your 40 collision warning distance, all right? You're going to have a stages when it's going to do a three stage to warn you when you're about to hit something, it's going to help stop you, stuff like that. I'm going to keep it on normal because that's what Honda has it set for as a default. You get your ACC for detection vehicle beep. So this is with your Honda sensing. When you have your cruise control on, you got the distance for you and the car in front of you, all right? See those lines? So let's say we're going like 45 miles an hour. The car from is going, I don't know, 40. It finds that car, beeps, beeps at me now. I turn that on as it slows me down to maintain that distance or you just want to do it without the beeping. So I want the person to go on the test drive to experience that, see if they like it or not. Your road departure, all right. You can change the sensitivity as you go out of your lane, whoosh, as it brings you back, stuff like that. So you got normal wide, warning only or narrow. So you like focus right in the center of the lane. I'm gonna keep it on normal. Now you're gonna have your lane keep assist beep. So when you grab your lane a little bit, you know, for your highway driving between 45 and 90 is when your lane keep assist is gonna work. Grab your lane, beep, beep, beeps at you as it brings you back. Let's do it. Blind spot. So this is your blind spot right over here. Maybe that's a little hard to see with all the shadow action, but you're gonna have them. Well, I can't see at all on my camera all the glare but it's right here for you guys your blind spot okay as we open up this door this little cube i have a video right up there to give you a nice little visual and how it's done feel free to check that out but you can change it if you don't want an audible you just want the visuals i'm going to keep it on that one because when i have my turning indicator on i want it to beep at me if someone's in my blind spot you know why not have the extra layer of safety traffic sign recognition right here boom we're going to keep this on so we're driving down the road it finds the speed limit and it's going to throw it up there for us so it's going to be kind of nice. Oops, I accidentally hit home. So the back button. So we just finished up the driver's assist. We got door settings right here. Auto door lock. It's like that. So you just got in the car. You're about to drive off. When do you want your doors to lock? You got some options. You got your auto door unlocked. All right, we just got where you're going. You arrived, when do you want your doors to unlock? This should be a great option for the wife for all doors when you shift to park, because she does a lot. She takes the family out everywhere. You know, the kids, the other events, everything. You know, maybe, you know, the first option would be good too as well. You guys are out there, the kids can wait an extra second. You shut the car, you go to places new, you can mind your surroundings late at night. It'd be a perfect option too. We'll do that one. Once again, no right or wrong answer. Whatever works best for you guys. That's the whole point of this video. You have your key and remote unlock mode right there. So when you hit the select on that point, the door unlock, you know, on your key fob, unlock on your key fob. For the first time, do you want driver's side or, door, or all doors, if I can talk. So if you hit it twice, psh, psh, automatically all doors automatically unlock, okay? So a lot of times people keep it on driver's side door only. All right, you want an answer back to you? As you lock it up, yep. I like to have a nice audible sound so I know it's done. Your security relock timer. So this is gonna be fun because once you hit unlock, everyone's gonna have X amount of time to get there and actually open up a car door. If you don't open up a door in that time frame, for example, this one's set to 30 seconds. Oh man, my kids are gonna have to come back and say, Dad, 
I can't get into the car. Help me out. Unlock it again. All right. So that's going to be kind of nice. I'll keep it from there. So you get power sliding, keyless open. So pretty much any time it'd be nice if I had the doors here and all that. I'll have the key file here with me. Your power sliding doors open mode. Or just when the car is unlocked. Back up, you have your lighting set up. So I'm gonna keep all this stuff here at the default, but if you guys may have you know ways to change if you want to, you can. You get your interior light, dimming time. So when you shut off the vehicle, shut the door you have x amount of time for your interior light to turn off auto headlights i shut off the car i shut the door right this i can see some people changing so let's say i go to work late at night or i'm getting home late at night and it's super dark out i don't have any kind of crazy lights going on right maybe i'll increase that to 30 seconds so i can get my belongings i can see what i'm going as i go to my front door or to my work all right, now you can have your, uh, these, when it says auto, interior stuff, like that for your headlights, you gotta make sure your headlights are to auto. All right, for a lot of the stuff, so keep that in mind. So we got this right here too as well, for the brightness, the change of your panels. So let's say between day and nighttime, right now it's daytime as you see at nighttime, your lights come on, these lights kind of dimmer a little bit um, as well, um, but you can change the sensitivity of the brightness of those, as you can see. Um, there we go. So when your headlights are on to auto, sorry for giving you guys motion sickness, wipers come on, boom, headlights will automatically come on. That's how we have it set up right now. So if it's off, headlights won't come on while the wipers are on. Let's do it, let's keep it on. So this is gonna be between your day and nighttime transparency levels. How soon do you want your auto lights to automatically come on for your headlights, all right? Now that's everything from there. And then we have your maintenance from right there for you guys. So if there's you know, any maintenance requirements or maintenance due coming up, that's going to be right in there for you folks, all right? There we go. Hey guys, thanks again for watching my video. And once again, congratulations on your new Honda Odyssey. Hopefully this helped. If you want more detailed information, check out my walk around videos too as well. I go over more of the standard features and functions, all right? Well, thanks again for you guys' support. I'll see you guys at the next video. Bye-bye.